Hello guys and welcome to day two of your seven days of free content. My name is David Templer, I am the head trainer here at F45 Highgate and today we are going to be doing a resistance class. So, the way F45 is programmed, on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday you do cardio, on a Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday we do resistance. So, we're doing bodyweight exercises, which makes it a little bit more difficult to get the resistance in, but where there's a will, there is a way. So today, we have got 10 exercises. We're gonna be working for 35 seconds on, 25 seconds rest, and we're gonna try and stimulate our muscles as much as possible. So, the ways we can do this, we can slow our reps down, we can add a little bit more weight in using our own body, so repositioning where the center of gravity is, and also, we can look to use a few props. Now, behind me, you will see that I've got a soft top box. What I encourage you to do at home is to use your sofa to do some of these exercises. As always, there's progressions and regressions for the exercises, and I'm gonna take you through them now. So, exercise number one, we are doing decline push-up. So, get your sofa, box, chair, whatever it is, and you're gonna put your feet on the box and do a press-up. So, keeping your arms at a 45 degree angle to your body, you're gonna lower your chest to the floor and push back up. Like so, so here, you want to make sure that you've got a nice tight core, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads, that was the wrong way around, squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes, and lower yourself down to the floor nice and slowly. Because your feet are raised, it puts a little bit more resistance onto your chest, and as this is a resistance day, it's going to make you work a little bit harder. Now, obviously that is pretty hard as an exercise, so the regression for this is just to do it on the floor. Feel free to just do a regular push-up, and again, if you can't do that, come onto your knees, lower yourself to the floor, and push back up. Coaching points here, make sure you keep your arms at a 45 degree angle to your body. This is gonna protect the front of your shoulder. Um, and again, make sure that you've got your shoulder over your elbow, elbow over your hand. That is when your arm is stacked and it is in, it is in its strongest position. Okay, when we talk about resistance training, a lot of the movements we do together are quite often push exercises. So we've just done a push up, which targets your chest and a little bit your tricep. Another muscle we target with push exercises is our tricep. So the next exercise we're going to do is a tricep dip. And all you're going to do is use your sofa, box, chair, whatever it is, put your arms on it, and you're going to lower yourself down, keeping your arms tight to your body, and then push back through. We're going to show you that from a second angle. So just here, get yourself off the edge, lower yourself down, and you're going to push up. So again, there's ways you can make this easier or more difficult. You can take a bit of weight in your feet by bending your legs, and again, just lower yourself down, like so. If you don't have a box available to you, or a chair or a sofa, whatever, you can do it on the floor. It will just decrease the range of motion, and you're not going to get as big a benefit from it, but you can still do it. So come up into a plank, or a reverse plank position, and you can just bend your arms, and you'll feel that in your triceps. So there's exercise number two. Exercise number three, we are going to be doing a reverse plank with a crunch. So again, use your box, sofa, whatever it is that you've got. This is the position you're going to hold. This is your start position. So you're pushing through your hips by squeezing your glutes. And again, let me show you that from the side. This is your reverse plank. Now, when you're in this position, what you're gonna do is crunch your leg into your stomach and alternate it from leg to leg. Like so. Again, you can do this on the floor if you don't have a box. Exercise number four. We're targeting our abdominal muscles again. And what you're gonna do is sit on the edge of the box, use your hands to support you, you're gonna come out into a nice stretch position, crunch in, using the support of your hands to balance you, and then come back out into that extended position. Remember, we're working for 35 seconds on, 25 off, and the emphasis here is the contraction of the muscles. So don't go really, really fast. We want slow and controlled movements, really, really targeting those core muscles. Next, we can leave the bench, we can lose the sofa, lose whatever it is you've got, and we're gonna go into a Romanian deadlift, but we're gonna add resistance by doing it on one leg. So, the Romanian deadlift, you're gonna be sick and tired of me telling you how to do this, but it is an imperative move 
to a lot of stuff that we do at F45. So, this is a hip hinge. A hip hinge, your legs are nice and soft, but they're going to stay in that position the whole time you do this exercise. Similarly, your torso is going to stay at the same position, but the movement is going to come from you hinging at the hip. And how we do this is by pushing your bum back. Look, my legs haven't moved, my torso is still nice and proud, but I'm bending over by hinging at the hip. So imagine there's an imaginary button on the back wall and you're trying to push your bum with it. That is the hip hinge. Now, as I said, we want to add a bit more resistance in that, make it a little bit more difficult, so we're going to go onto one leg. So, again, soft knees, but they're going to stay in that position. Torso nice and proud. You're going to lean forward until you feel that stretch in your hamstring. When you do, squeeze your bum. That's going to extend the hip and you're going to stand or come back up to an upright position. Try and stand that one leg for the whole movement. So lower yourself down, squeeze the bum to come back up, and then you're going to repeat. So start on your weak leg for exercise number five, and then exercise number six, you're going to go onto your stronger leg. Exercise number seven. So that movement is just targeted to our posterior chain, which involves your hamstrings, glutes, calves, lower back. We're then going to target our glutes again, with a glute bridge. So, onto the floor. Use your arms to stabilize you. We're gonna get our heels nice and close to our bum, and you're gonna push through your heels to drive the hips to the ceiling, and then return. Now, here, there's all sorts of ways you can make this a bit more difficult. You could put your feet onto the box. In fact, I'm gonna show you. Pushing through your heels, you can increase that range of motion, and do the exact same exercise. You can also do it on one leg, both on the floor and the box. Again, that's going to put more resistance through that side. Just make sure you swap every five or ten reps. Okay, there's your glute bridge. Oh, we're then going to go into incline press-ups. So we start the session with decline press-ups. That is going to target your upper chest. Now we're going to incline press-ups, and that's going to target your lower chest. So, using your sofa, box, whatever it is you've got, you're going to put your hands on an incline, and exactly the same as the first one, you're going to keep your arms at a 45 degree angle, lower your chest to the box, push the box away, and return to the start position. These actually take a little bit of weight off, and since this is exercise number eight, it's, going to be, it's actually going to be very nice for you because you're going to have done all those exercises. You'll be a little bit blowing, and we can take a little bit of resistance off, but as well, as well, it's going to target a different area of your chest. Now, exercise number nine, we're going to stay on the box in that position, and all you're going to do is mountain climbers, but from a different angle. Try and drive your knee as high as possible. Again, slower and more controlled movements, although we don't want you stagnant, we can get your heart rate going a little bit, but what you'll notice is from having your hands elevated, you've got a lot more room to play with. You've got all of this. Sometimes you do it on the floor, you're a little bit stuck for space, but up here, nice and open, and you can really drive that leg through. And last but not least, exercise number 10, we're coming onto the floor, don't need your box, we're gonna do a Russian twist. So, if you can, feet off the floor, and you're going to reach as far around as possible, touch the floor without taking any tension off your abs, and then go the other side. What I see a lot of people doing here, you typically do this with a medicine ball, banging from side to side. That is absolutely zero bow. You're not getting much out of that at all. We want nice, slow, controlled movements, really, really engaging those abs, and you're going to get maximal benefit from that. I'm absolutely blowing just doing those 10 exercises for you. Um, right, we're going to go into a warm up. In fact, I've already filmed one on my channel, so pause this. You know the exercises now. I'll put the link in the box below. Go and do the warm up. Meet me back here, and we'll get ready to get our pop on. Right, see you in a sec. I'm filming this all for YouTube, so if you want to do it again, we'll send the links at the end of the week, and you can make that possible, okay? So. We've got it. I've come prepared today. Okay, so first exercise, we're doing push-ups, declines, so your feet are elevated, and we're going in three, two, one, let's go. So remembering, 
keeping those arms at 45 degree angle to your body. Nice straight lines with your elbow, shoulder and wrist. Nice subtle control movement. Breathe in as you come down, nice breath out as you go to the top. Last couple of reps. And we're resting. So guys, again, there's so many different things you can do if you're finding this a bit easy or difficult. If you're finding it easy, all you need to do is just really, really slow down that tempo. It puts your muscles under tension for a longer period. And the longer your muscles under tension, the harder it's working and the greater rewards you'll see off the back of it. Okay, we're going in with exercise number two, tricep dips in three, two, one. Let's go again. Keeping those elbows nice and tight to your body. That'll put more emphasis on the triceps. Oh. And you can make this easier. If you bend your knees, it'll take a bit more weight off your triceps and put it into your legs. If you want to make it harder, keep those legs nice and straight. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> I don't like it. Sound effects are absolutely necessary. And we're resting. Again guys, so we typically do push movements. The last two exercises have been pushed. We've targeted our chest and our triceps. Again, you're overloading that muscle by doing two exercises targeting the same muscle group back to back. I need to stop talking. Exercise number three is the reverse plank crunch and we're going in three, two, one. So nice high plank position, squeeze that bum, get those hips up, and then you're alternating the knee crunching into the chest. Good. Oh my arms. They burn in. Oh, so bad. Again. Overloading that muscle, you should be able to feel this in your triceps as well. We're into our last five seconds. Keep going to the end. And rest. Oh, God, I thought this one was going to be easy, Eleanor. Who made this up? Oh, some idiot, I think. <laughs> I don't like him, whoever it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slave driver. He is, right. These reps are going very quick as well. Next up, number four is the crunch. So you're sitting on the edge. And let's go. Remember, nice controlled movements. Really feel that contraction. What did you say? I thought we were in de uh, single leg deadlift. Have you been drinking this morning? No! Not yet. Oh, yeah. I was on the blooming tequilas last night. <laughs> Comedic value right there. Right, last five seconds, let's get three more reps out. Two, three, good. And rest. Now you can do your RDLs. Yay! So RDL is the abbreviation for Romanian deadlifts. And it is one that is literally used so much at F45, which is why you'll see it in the program so much. Because we want to get you nailing the technique. Remember, starting your weaker leg. Soft knees, and we're going in. So keep that chest nice and proud. Do you want to tell people what their weaker leg probably is? Do I want to? Yeah, so if you're right hand, it's the same as with your hands. If you're right handed, your weaker leg will be your left leg. Yeah, is that sure? Do you know what though? I said that the other day, Eleanor, and if you're right footed, you, you normally have your standing leg as your left one, don't you? So that's sometimes stronger. Is it? Well, that's what my chiropractor told me. Right, we're resting. Yeah, my chiropractor said to me, your left leg's a lot stronger than your right. And I said, well, I'm right footed. And he said, but all the stability comes from your left leg when you plant it and kick and stuff. That is your stronger leg, so. Yeah, beats so me. Kick with my right leg. Yeah, so you, is your left stronger? Right, we're going back in. Other leg. 
Good. So notice that Eleanor's leg is staying exactly the same. She's got a soft knee, but she's maintaining that the whole time through. And the movement is just coming from that hinge at the hip. Cool, my calf's on fire as well. Calf is still. My calf is on fire. <laughs> I'm just absolutely ruining that piece you've got in your garden. <laughs> How many songs can we get with fire in? Right, we're resting. <laughs> we're making everybody exercise longer because we're prattling about. <laughs> 29 people, we've scared four off of our singing. Oh. That's alright. Right, we're going to a glute bridge. So remember, heels nice and tight to your bum. Push through those heels and drive to the ceiling. Ready? Let's go. If you want to make sure that you actually are driving through your heels, Lift your toes off and you'll be certain of it. Use your arms to stabilise you. And really squeeze that bum at the top of the movement. That's the muscle that you want to be working. I can't think of any more songs, Els. What, with fire in? Yeah. <laughs> uh, fire starter? <laughs> My castle fire starter. Right, we're resting. <laughs> Notice as well how we program this. We're going upper body, lower body, upper body. So you're just working out enough to fill that burn. We're then resting and then we're going back to it. So we're on to our incline push-ups. As I say, these will feel a bit easier because the weight is predominantly in your feet. Um, yeah, we're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Try and get that muscle mind connection. Feel in your muscles what's working. This should be a little bit of tricep, but mainly your chest, and it should feel like the lower part of your chest. And again, really slow that down if you find it too easy. Big explosive push off. Three, two, one, good. Nice little breather. We're going to get a little pulse razor in. But as I say, the difference with today's workout, you won't feel like you're as sweaty, but hopefully you should feel your, nut arm, your muscles nice and pumped, and then we'll be ready to get sweaty again tomorrow. You good, Els? So good. So good. Right, mountain climber in. So again, not so much about the tempo, it's about nice controlled movements. Really feel those contractions. seconds then we're going in with Russian twist which is the last exercise of this circuit. I'm nicely warm. Say glowing. Glowing, great word. Okay. So nice slow control we're going in there now, okay? Glistening. Nice slow control movement. The further you reach round, the harder it's gonna be. Oh This is a good exercise for mobility. So the difference between flexibility and mobility, mobility is having strength at that end of your range of motion. Flexibility is just being able to get into positions. So here we're going as far as we can. Let's rest. We're going as far as we can and we're strengthening ourselves at the end of that movement. Els, you can rest there, babe. Well, I'd, I'd like to think I had more knowledge than looks, to be fair. Is it even Stevens? <laughs> Fuck. My knowledge is terrible then. Right, we're going to rest for a minute here. 
Let's have a little chat with who's online. 29, if you've got any questions. Ain't no mountain high. F45 Tiger singing away. Right, that's your one round done. We've got two to go. So I've got motor mouth. I've just had a coffee and all, I'm buzzing, so sorry if I'm talking over you. It's my turn now. <laughs> it's true, you've got one in the bag. Yeah. Right, I've got 30 seconds. Anything you'd like to say? Me? Or do you just want to blow in the camera? <laughs> no, just Climb push ups. In three, two, one, let's go. I've lost you. Oh, there you are. You're alright, I'll carry on. Again, to make this harder, notice how I'm really, really slowing this tempo down, my muscle under tension this whole time, and the explosive push up. Cool, I'm struggling. Um, hopefully that's not a euphemism. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> right, and we're resting. I'll be back. Oh, I missed that one, what a shame. Yeah, unlucky. Right, 15 seconds. We'll do a quick few here and then I'll go straight into triceps dips. We love that commitment. Good, nice. Look, notice how look, Eleanor's actually got perfect form, right? Her bum's nice and clenched, her quads are clenched, her core's braced, nice straight back, and she's lowering that to the ground. Absolutely fantastic. Right, we're going to tricep dips. So again, arms nice and close to the body, push through that tricep to get you back to the start position. Again, playing with that tempo as you need to. I'm so jealous of that sun. Right, last five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh, good. Don't forget to hydrate, guys. There we go. Elsa's got vodka in her cup. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> I thought you had tequila last night. Yeah, I haven't got any this morning. Uh. Right, five seconds, we go with the reverse plank. What'd you say? It's shot. Is that is that a uh, necessary shot? That is an F forty five trainer tip. Oh, my box is broken. You're making me laugh. It's making this workout even harder. <laughs> nice slow control movements. Knee up as high as you can. Again, plan that range of motion point that I talked about earlier. Try and get that as high as you can. And we're building strength at either end. Last two. One, two. Good, and rest. Oh. oh is that, it's quite warm in the sun. Yeah, the sun typically does tend to be hot, doesn't it? I know, it's so weird. It's strange. It's almost like it's a massive ball of fire. <laughs> Right, on the edge of your bench, your box, your sofa, whatever you're using, or the floor, you can do it on there. We're tucking our knees into our chest. Extend up, try and get as low as you can with this. And use your hands to support you if you need to. Oh. We're halfway. Stick with us, guys. And last rep. Nice. How's that box holding up, Els? Um, it's not looking good, I won't lie. But you're still getting it done, aren't you? Where there's a will, there's a way. Old faithful. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going into our LDL, our LDLs, RDLs, remaining deadlifts. So the hip hinge movement in three, two, one. 
Nice proud torso, soft knees. Oh, I'm wobbling. If you have trouble with balance, you can focus, if you focus on a point just in front of you and keep your eye on it the whole time through the movement, it'll help you not wobble about. There we go. Right, we're 10 to go. Seconds, that is, not reps. Ooh. Three, two, one, good. If you are massively struggling with that, feel free to do it with both legs together. So the movement's exactly the same. You're pushing your bum to the back wall, squeezing that to extend the hips and come back up. The main thing you want to do here is really, really nail that technique and it's transferable to a lot of different moves as I say. So, do it with your head feet together until you get that balance and strength. And in the meantime, let's do the other leg. I can't remember which leg I did. I think I just did that one. Another good little tip for you, if you stand in this upright position, put your leg back as far as you can, you'll feel that tense in your glute, and then do the movement forward. It just means you're working both glutes at the same time, but your legs are working unilaterally. So unilateral is when you work limbs, separately of each other and it's a good way for you to promote balance in your body because most injuries come from imbalances in your body so if we strengthen ourselves independently of each other you're going to build the strongest body possible okay we're resting there i tell you there's some big old bees in my garden this morning yeah As long as you're not going to run off and leave me, I'm, that's okay. Birds. Right, glute bridges. I'm going to stroke them. Heels in nice and tight, driving through the heels, hips to the ceiling. Feel that tight bum. I need to stop this bit turning into an aerobics class. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Get those tushies off the floor. Oh god, exercise does weird things she doesn't it? My endorphins are flying. I am the king of talking shit. Right. He's really, really not wrong. And relax. <laughs> oh dear, if you're not going to interject, I'm just going to get worse and worse. So, for the viewers' sake, please help me out. Right, we're going to do push ups. In five. Saved by the push-ups. Saved by the push-ups. If you want to do the regression else, feel free to not use that box. What are you saying? No, I don't doubt your capability. Don't doubt my box. It's just sometimes the workman has to blame their tools. <laughs> don't listen to what they say. Good. Okay, let's go three more reps. One, two, three, good. 35 seconds on the dock. Don't think that you're not getting a good workout in either. Oh, sorry, I was gone. Mountain club in three, two, one. Nice, slow, controlled. Little hop in between. Keep going now, we've got 10 seconds to go. Nice, last few reps. Three, two, one, good. Oh, we're into our last exercise, Russian twist. Then we've got one more lap, and then I'm gonna get Els to take us for a little cool down, because she's a little yogi. She can release her inner flexibility. It gets nice and cool. It's <laughs> an official yoga pose. It is. It's called the Els Bells, right. 
legs up, and we're going in three, two, one. Stretching as far around as possible. There's literally no hiding with this one. If you drop your feet, you lose the tension in your abs. So keep your feet up, and you know that you're working, but at the same time, if you can't do that, feel free to put your feet down. <coughs> Just means you've got to try and stretch even further. Okay. Last five seconds. Two, one, and rest. Okay. We've got your one minute 20 resting, and then we're going again. Final rack, lap, round. Can we do abs? Nesha, that, there is quite a lot of ab work in here. Yeah. I don't know if you're being, you're joking. That was pretty abs intensive, that one. Oh. I don't know, was she? <laughs> Jury's out. <laughs> How many have we got? 21, you're, you're singing. <laughs> oh no, I've killed everybody off. Note to self, stop talking. No, never. Never, ever. We need this, that gift in these current times. Exactly. Right, um, it is probably worth saying, you'll notice if you did yesterday's workout and today's one, we were all dripping wet yesterday. This is a completely different emphasis on this workout. It's not saying you're working less hard, it's just a different emphasis. So we're looking for resistance here, we're slowing the stuff down, it's more controlled. We're looking to put more volume and weight through our muscles where possible, because it is body weight still, but the way we change our center of gravity, it puts a little bit more emphasis on different parts of the body. So don't worry if you're not sweating. That's for tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's a good workout. I'm, I'm... So if you did yesterday, That's, that's the benefit of this, these exercises. It's all, it's all to do with your own intensity. So if you feel like you are struggling or you feel like you can give more, just do whatever you need to do. And one other thing I will say is, I know a few people follow me on Instagram, so don't look at what I'm doing and think that's what you should be doing. My job is, no, no, because I'm, I'm absolutely fucked from it. I've, I've worked out way too much. But it, this changing environment has meant I've had to take a lot more classes online and doing an hour and a half of high intensity training just is, is no good, so this is more than enough for you today. Please feel sorry for me. Where's that little violin? <laughs> right, we're going back in. So I'll shut it, you. <laughs> right, five seconds. We're going in with the push ups, decline. Let's go. You were begging me to shout you out the other day, Eleanor. You were begging me to shout you out the other day. I was begging you for nothing. Carry on with the workout. D do a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> At TV Eleanor. What was it? No, you've got it wrong. Ah, I'm the worst. The worst shout out ever. So guys, again, there's so many different things you can do if you're finding this a bit easy or difficult. If you're finding it easy, all you need to do is just really, really slow down that tempo. It puts your muscles under tension for a longer period. And the longer your muscles under tension, the harder it's working and the greater rewards you'll see off the back of it. Okay, we're going in with exercise number two, tricep dips in three, two, one. Let's go again. Keeping those elbows nice and tight to your body. That'll put more emphasis on the triceps. Oh. And you can make this easier. If you bend your knees, it'll take a bit more weight off your triceps and put it into your legs. If you wanna make it harder, keep those legs nice and straight. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> I don't like it. Sound effects are absolutely necessary. And we're resting. Again guys, so we typically do push movements. The last two exercises have been push. We've targeted our chest and our triceps. Again, you're overloading that muscle by doing two exercises targeting the same muscle group back to back. I need to stop talking. <laughs> Exercise number three is the reverse plank crunch. And we're going in three, two, one. Oh, it's the battery. Elle, can you carry on for me? I can. 
Thanks, babe. Look at that. Battery change quicker than you can change an F1 tire. Reverse plank. Crunch. Yes, I can go for up in here. <laughs> right, let's go. I need a wee so bad. <laughs> Right, YouTubers, sorry for the uh, little delay. I'll have to clip the, the, the uh, I'll have to edit the clips and replay them. You missed out on two exercises, but we're back. Which is completely pointless the same, because I'm going to edit it so it won't look any different. <laughs> <laughs> right, last five seconds. Through this workout, who also follow you on YouTube, so it's like behind the scenes. Yeah, exactly. Right, we're rested. Uh, don't. Nothing, nothing can help. <laughs> you YouTubers. <laughs> right, eight seconds. We're going in with the crunches. Ooh, oh, who wanted abs? Here's your abs. Here's your abs. Here's your abs. And if you want to make it even harder, if you've got any weights at home, put it on your feet. Add some more resistance in. Last five seconds. Two, one, and rest. Oh, boom. RDLs. Yeah, oh. Right, ten seconds. <laughs> We're not talking as much now, are we? A little dance. Right, three, two, one. Weak leg RDL. The dog back. Yeah. Oh, very tactical. Get yourself out of working out. Oh, she needs help. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost done. If you use your opposite arm to the leg you're standing on as you go out the bottom, it should help balance you out a little bit. Right, last rep. Good. Get those breathers in. 25 seconds rest in between. And this is your last round. Right, back in, in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, wobble it out. Did you say bless you to the dog? Yeah, his name. <laughs> What's the dog's name? Eric. Eric. Bless you, Eric. I'm trying to get my shoelace. <laughs> That's not helpful, is it? Putting your balance even more. <laughs> right, last one. Good. <coughs> Down onto the floor, into our glute bridges for the last time. Oh, you got two then now, who's the other one? Yeah, girlfriend. Are they boyfriend and girlfriend? No, like more like annoying brother and sister. Okay, right. Blue bridges. What's, what's Eric's sister's name? Anya. Nice. Eric's bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> we started, David. Huh? Yeah, oh, we've started. You, you carry on telling the dog to fuck off now if you want. No, 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 no excuses, no distractions. Your dogs have actually got human names and you talk to them like a human. I love it. <laughs> Always say bless you to sneeze. Right, last rep. Right, last two exercises. No, last three exercises. We've got incline push-ups, mountain climbers, Russian twists. So.
We're ready to go. In three, two, one. Let's go. Again, really feel that in the lower part of your chest. Slow the rep down. Nice and explosive. You can even add a press up on the clap on them if you want. Probably a bit late now, it's pretty knackered, but. Go on, do it, do it. <laughs> I'm nearly head butt the box then. <laughs> My box is knackered. <laughs> Last two reps. All together. One, two, and rest. Good. Woo. Right, you need your box for one more round and then we are done with the box. <laughs> oh, classic. Is box a funny word? <laughs> Yeah, it is quite funny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, in with the mountain climbers. Nice, slow, controlled, hold that for a split second at the top. That is your range of motion. That's where we're strengthening. Oh, my abs are killing me. Touch the other side, then pick it back up, and again, you're working that end range. Right, we're done in five, four, three, two, one. There we go. She got the box involved. Right, we're done, guys. Good effort. Take a little 20 second breather, and then Elsa's is going to take us through a cool down. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching this. I'm going to film a cool down separately to this. In the meantime, just Google a quick little cool down. Make sure you're cooling down your whole body. And we'll see you again for day three of this seven days worth of free content from F45 Highgate. And until then, eat some food, get some rest, stretch, wash your hands and take care. <laughs>